episode 120. That's episode 120 of KJ's PPC Hot Shots. Hello, family. Welcome to the channel. Hey, listen, we just thank the Lord for you tuning in. I thank the Lord for my 96 subscribers. I thank the Lord for those of you who may be just, again, casually looking. And, uh, you know, uh, like I say all the time, you know, like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I enjoy your comments. Uh, I enjoy, you know, uh, like I said, giving you the word of God, the scriptures. I enjoy showing you the comics. I enjoy the interactions. And uh, I just really thank the Lord for you all. So with that being said, on this episode 120 of PPC Hot Shots, then uh, I just want to let you know I'm not a total uptight person here that don't do anything with new books. I do tell you there are an occasion where I do pick up a few or trade for a few. But uh, these two uh, freebies and the DC Connect came from Brother Rob and we was up there visiting him, Brother Josh and him. And I picked up the uh, free comic book day, Inner John Universe special and the DC Connect uh, with the summer, uh, what they're doing with the absolute power seeing what they got going on. It's, it's everything's an event now. You get two, maybe one to two events every year. Uh, and speaking of events, I did pick this up just so I can get a glimpse of what's going on. Uh, new free comic book day, The Blood Hunt. Now, am I going to get The Blood Hunt? No. Uh, those comic creators that are yet doing their channel that's picking up the new books and want to do a review. I will listen and see what they review is talking about. But the more and more I look at these new books, you all, I'm sorry. Get upset with me if you like. But the more and more I look at these new books, the more and more I, I feel like I just want to run back to the older stuff. Find stuff that I hadn't looked at. I mean, I don't care even if it ain't, pardon me, ain't worth anything i just want to go ahead and be able to pick something up you know because like i said you know with stuff like this and then you know with the big price tags on them and different things and you know i can understand everybody trying to get their own universe going and that's all well and good you know i'm i'm still with the with the old the old school the old guard the dinosaurs so i yet thank the lord again for you all tuning in again as i say only through Jesus Christ can you make it to heaven. If you think you can make it to heaven any other way, you're mistaken. Only through Jesus Christ. You can't go over, you can't go under, and you can't go around. You must come in at the door, and that is Jesus Christ. All right. Now, with this 120 on this episode, we're going to show you some Thor's. I pulled out all my Thor's. I might have missed a few. But I'll have a day or so maybe to find the rest of them. But I, I pulled out all my Thors. And then just just since I've been picking up all these older Thors, then I've just been putting them all together. So what I'm planning on doing here for these next couple of videos until we get through, I'm going to run from the oldest Thor that I have at this point on up to the newest that I have. And um, I hope you will enjoy it. It's a lot of great covers, a lot of great stories in these Thors. Uh, I'll try to point out some of the best storylines that I can remember. And uh, we can go from there. There'll be some what I like to call uh, sidebars uh, in this. I'm just not going to hit you with just Thor, 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 Thor. And then there's no sidebars. You might have a sidebar at the beginning uh, one maybe in the middle, and then you may have one at the end. But I, I as we go, you'll understand. So we're going to be looking at Thor. Uh, this is part one of the PPC Hot Shots, episode 120, looking at Thor's. But sidebar, the first four books I want to show you are not Thor's. I just want to make sure that y'all understand I do collect the females in comics, those that I like. I like Wonder Woman. I like Supergirl. Uh, I like uh, Miss Marvel, the old Miss Marvel. Uh, there's a few others that may pop up that I do like. But um, 
you know, but I, I just, I'm trying to put this set together, not the entire set, but the set that led, led up to what I call the, the Supergirl from the animated series. Uh, they brought her into this other uh, run of Supergirl that came out in the early 2000s, I believe it is. Uh, can't really think of it. I'll see it right offhand. Oh, 2002. So I guess the early 2000s is when this run come out. But uh, let me show them to you. This is the sidebar, number one. So we have Supergirl, number 68, fighting Mary Marvel, Supergirl. This is what got me hooked on it right here. Seeing both of them on the cover and it's got Spectre in the background. If you've ever ran across these, if you're dollar bin diving or you're picking up different books, I advise you pick these books up, give them a read. They're really entertaining. The art's really good. I try to maintain, and like I tell you, there are books that I try to keep in my collection. And uh, this particular run of Supergirl is that particular book. Here is 79. I like that. Back with that uh, Infinity. Not Infinity. My, my, my. Crisis on Infinite Earths. And then this last issue. 80 is the last issue of this Supergirl. I like the Supergirl cover. And I mean, it, it's a very, very nice book. A good read. Good read. And the books are in nice shape. As usual, I try to tell you if they're in nice shape. And so we're getting ready to move into the Thors. So we're, like I said, this is your first sidebar. As we go through the Thors, you might be another one at the beginning. It might be another one in the middle. It might be one in the end. But just a little something to break up the Thor monotony. So anyway, let us move on. Because like I said, I'm trying to keep these right at 20 minutes if I can for the hot shots. This is Thor 193 and Thor 194, respectively. Uh, the 193 is a double-sized kind of rolled on the spine a little bit. It's supposed to be, and I guess, square bound, but it was more on the road. It's got an ink up in here, but he's fighting Silver Surfer. It's another great book. I think this may be the second time that they're, uh, well, they teamed up, rather. But this may be the second time that they come together since that uh, Silver Surfer versus Thor in Silver Surfer's own book. Number four, very iconic book. This is Thor 194. It says Loki Triumph, got him busting in the Great Hall. Uh, these old Thors are very nice. Had them back a long time ago, was glad to get them back. You still, was, you might have, some of these you might have already seen. Some you probably, like I said, we just going back and forth. Some of this stuff that I'll be showing you might be what I call filler. Might not be real new stuff, but it's stuff that I've had that you might have seen, but some of the new subscribers may not have seen them. But anyway, as Thor 195, Thor 196, these are nice books. Thor 197, Thor 198. Got Magog in there. Why Odin is in the Odin sleep. I need a 199. I'm going to look for that later on down the road. I always manage to keep a 200 in my collection. And I have another one in my box up there, Brother Paul. So, But I like to keep that. I, I like that cover. I like that cover. Special 200th issue. I got to find a 201, but I do have a 202. Fighting Ego. I mean, just look at these covers, y'all. This is iconic Thor's for me, you know. And it's 20 cent covers too with the little box. Y'all know how I like the little box. Here is 204. Oh, excuse me. I went backwards. I'm sorry. 203 and 204. These are nice. Those are good books. And I said, man, I just like to keep showing them off. And uh, so y'all can be able to get a real good look at what they are. And I'm telling you, you can't beat a good Thor comic book. I'm trying to tell you. You know, I hope y'all stay with me. And uh, as we go through the scriptures, we're going out of 1 John, in the King James Version, as I usually read out of. 1 John chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. That's 
First John chapter five, not St. John, first John chapter five, verses three through five. And it reads, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the son of God. Now he was asking a question there, but he was still yet letting them know that if you come to Jesus Christ, you know, he is the one. He is our redeemer. And he said he is a way maker. And when you're with him, when he, you got him and he's dwelling on the inside, you let him have the high seat in your life, then he will bless you. He will keep you. He will cover you. Look, he ain't going to strong arm you. He'll keep you if you want to be kept. And he'll cover you if you want to be covered. Because, you know, look, we pray for those that are not saved. We pray for those that are all saved. We're just going to be praying because this is now more than ever. This just more is it's important for who for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Born of God. That means you're born again. That, that means that you have accepted the Lord as your personal savior, that you're going to live for him. You're going to do what he wants you to do according to his word. And there's a true love and there's a realness in serving Jesus Christ. I'm trying to tell you, the realness is yet there. Thor 206 and 207. I always like Thor when he's going against the absorbing man. You know, I, in a way, I wish they'd take and make the absorbing man a, a, a hero because uh, he's a bad man. You know, anytime I said, you know, what would happen? And then it was one book where he grabbed hold to Thor's hammer and changed into the same material. Man, that was a wicked battle. I, I enjoyed it very much. And I said, you know, uh, of course, anytime you see Loki, you know, I know a lot of people like the Loki series and different things. I I, I didn't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that alone. I, I'm not going to mess with it because, like I said, your mileage may vary. And there are different things that we just, you know, that, different things that some folk like and some folk don't like. And I, I guess I'm one of them weird folks. I just don't like it. I mean, I like the actor per se. Uh, somebody told me, said, don't you know that's the same one that played in, in Kong Skull Island? I said, well, you know what? It surely is. And I thought that was so cool. So cool. All right, let's move on. We got Thor 208. And Thor 212. Those are nice Gil Kane covers. It's going up against, uh, what is his name? Uh, Nick Kuro. Nick Kuro. Yeah, Nick Kuro. The, a man from the death dimension. Okay, then. All right. And then we got the... Uh, Cover over here I thought was cool. This lizard creature has got Odin all tied up in chains. And I thought that was pretty cool. And again, you can look at the condition of the books. They are real nice. Real nice. Okay, bring it up to you now. We got, and like I said, y'all forgive me. If y'all have seen these before, then just, uh, just take it in again anyway. You know, I just figured I'd go ahead and show these. So, um, so y'all be able to get a real good look. This is Thor 222 and 223. You know, him and Hercules going, uh, fighting, uh, the, who was that? Uh, I think it's going up against Ares in both of these. So this is a pretty good book. And I like those very much. Comic book fam. We've got 224. I always like to destroy your armor as well. And... Uh, 226. I got to locate me at 225. I like that Galactus cover, you know, and uh, I said, you know, I, I, I like that particular book. I like to get where him and Galactus, forgot what the issue of that book is. It's in the 120s or 150s, one of the two. 
Uh, but I'd like to pick that up too down the road to add through the Thor collection. My Thor collection used to be rather extensive back in the day, but you know how things change. Here is Thor 227 and Thor 228. See, we're getting on up early. These are some nice books, y'all, if I say so myself. I'm not saying it because they're mine. They just, when I saw that brother Paul had them in the stack, man, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? And I said, you know, there's a lot of other things I much rather would have probably picked up, but I just had to feel like I had to have them and pick those up because I felt like they was going to be the type of books I wanted to get into. So... Let me see here, just to give you a little something different, because that's what I said I was going to do. We're going to add four more books to the pot. Not those, sidebar. Hands of, the Hands of Kung Fu used to be Deadly Hands, I thought, but I guess that was the magazine. But the Master of Kung Fu, he's going up against the man thing. I'm trying to keep that in the in the pickle barrel at all times. These particular covers here, where well, Butch Geis is doing the art, uh, where he looks so much like Bruce Lee, it's 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 just uncanny. Especially you know that particular pose and number fifty five, and this particular pose right here and number sixty four to challenge a dragon. I thought that was real cool. And last but not least, comic fam. That's part of the sidebar, so you won't get too burnt out on seeing all these Thors. I have here a very nice-looking Marvel Premiere number 26, featuring Hercules. It said in his own Olympian mag. If I'm not mistaken, this is Hercules' first appearance in his own book. Even though it was just a one book, a one-shot, but it was still him in here and it's 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 a decent book i liked it i liked it so again i try to keep it because i like this particular hercules as a character i know they try to change him up and uh they just leave well enough alone sometimes it would work but anyway we coming up on 18 minutes not too bad you all not too bad uh we done got our scriptures in y'all done seen probably a total of about 28 books you know, and done pretty good. I'm not going to, you know, just because I want to keep it at 20. I'm not going to eat up all the time sitting up here talking. But you remember, I think in uh, issue, uh, issue, episode 118 or 119, that I told you there was a subject that my pastor had preached at my mother's uh, funeral. And it's a subject that stuck with me. And I'm going to leave it with you and just want you to understand that this is the world that we living in right now. And I don't want you to be desensitized to everything that's going on. Well, that's just the way it is. So it makes no difference. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Understand. I want you to understand when I tell you what this subject was. He said that the Lord had gave him this subject. Once known, not forgotten, just neglected. That's talking about Jesus Christ because he was once known. He's not forgotten. If you mentioned Jesus Christ, or see, it used to be you couldn't mention Jesus Christ. They didn't want you to mention Jesus Christ. You couldn't even pray in Jesus' name. Now they're talking about, well, if you don't say Jesus, but now when they talk about that, they don't even want you to say God anymore. They're afraid it's going to offend. But then they don't realize that it's that's offending our Savior. It's offending my Savior. My Redeemer, the one who brought me out of sin and shame. But see, that's what he says. Once known, not forgotten, just neglected. He's not forgotten, but people just neglect him, just push him to the side. Just try to lump him in, just make him this common. And there's nothing common about Jesus Christ. Nothing. He is the Savior of the entire world. Giving everyone, man, woman, boy, girl, a chance to make it to God's heaven. But all you got to do is repent and live right, live holy, live sanctified. Sanctified means it's not a denomination. Holiness is not a denomination. It's what the Lord requires. He says, be ye holy for I am holy. That's the mandate. 
If we say that we are of Christ, if we say that we are a Christian, if we say that we're saved, then we had better be living according to God's word. That's the only way we're going to make it to God's heaven. I love you, comic book community. Thank you again. Again, like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell, give me a thumbs up. And we uh, invite you to stay tuned. This is 120, 121 will be coming up. Uh, probably the last one will probably be Friday, maybe Saturday, and then we'll go back to the regular format. But uh like trying to get these out for you all. Uh, and again, remember what that subject was. Think about it. And tell me if it don't make any sense to y'all. It makes great sense to me. Jesus Christ was once known, not forgotten, just neglected. And that's where we are today. And hopefully through the grace of God, my little bit of giving you the scriptures and letting you know how Jesus is and who he is and how much he loves you and cares for you, then maybe that'll get your mind stirring. I hope it does. God bless you, comic book fam. I love you with the love of the Lord. Until next time.